Welcome to the Queens of Germany 2023. I am Yasmin Zellberg. I am your Miss Globe Germany 2021 and your Miss Supranational Germany 2022. And I am your host for the Super Chat with Yasmin tonight. Super Chat with Yasmin is our chance to get to know all the contestants competing for the Queens of Germany titles. And in a few minutes, we are getting to know our three of our three contestants of group number three as well. And earlier this year, our national contest made headlines in the world of pageantry. So before we kick off our super chat, let's watch this film. is the future. the future. future welcome back to the super chat with yasmin this online event consists of three rounds of competition round one is the warm-up round where our group candidates have to briefly introduce themselves round two consists of general questions to be answered by our group candidates and round number three is probably the most challenging part as our group candidates have to answer all these questions pertaining to our particular topic so without further ado, let us call on our three contestants in group number three. The first one we have is Olya Sherbanyuk. 
Hi. Hi, Ola. The second one is Tamara Berg. Hello, Yasmin. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. And the third one is Anna Hafner. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. So now we here have three women with the same aim, and that is to win one of the Queens of Germany titles. Let's begin with round one, the self-introduction. Let's start with you, Anna. Hi there, so I'll start. My name is Anna Hafner. I am from Germany and I live in the south of Germany uh, near Lake of Constance. I am 23 years old and I started at university to be a teacher. I have worked at school for the last two years now and taught classes there, but I have also been an influencer since I was, I think, 16 years old. When I was 16, I competed in Ninja Warrior. <clears throat> It is a TV show in Germany and I won there and at the age of 18 I became Miss Baden-Württemberg and then I worked at the Fashion Week in Berlin as the first model smaller than 1 meter 70 and I'm sure that opened up big doors for so many models in Germany. Through my social media, I um, don't know how to say, uh, through my social media appearance, a community has formed and I've also founded some projects will, uh, which I will say more about in January. I've also hobbies besides work. I really enjoy doing gymnastics. That's why my nose is currently broken. And I also love to travel around the world, especially in Asia. I'm glad to be part of Queens of Germany and I think it's a great opportunity for everyone. That was awesome already. So now let's go on to our second contestant. So you have the floor now, dear Tamara. Thank you, Yasmin. So I introduce myself. My name is Tamara Bach. I'm a 23-year-old student and I study media and communication marketing in Heidelberg. That's the city where I live right now. But normally I'm from a city nearby Munich. So Munich is my hometown where i grown up. Um, I would describe myself as a really open-minded, communicative and of course a very curious person and that's one of the reasons why I participate here because I want to get to know everything and want to learn everything. I want to introduce myself but just not for myself. I want to use my voice and speak to a bigger group of people and tell them my opinions on big, big topics, for example, the equality. And yeah, that's why I'm here. And my hobbies are something like gymnastics. I do a lot of sports. I like to watch TV shows like the old ones, like Sex and the City. And I like social media because of my studies. I think that's something you thought of. And I'm very happy to be here. I'm very happy to be a part of Queens of Germany. 2023 and I hope everybody enjoys it and I want no, know I want to use my voice and I know I want to use my chance to raise my voice here. Thank you for listening. Really amazing and inspiring and now it's your time to shine dear Ola. Hi everyone uh, my name is Oja and I was born in Ukraine, uh, but now I live in such a beautiful city, Berlin. Um, I graduated from a linguistic university in Ukraine um, with a degree um, in top uh, interpretation and translation. Uh, now I'm getting second uh, higher education at Humboldt University in Berlin, uh, where I'm studying agriculture um, uh, sciences. Um, I also study in web design. Um, I have experience in teaching, but now I'm working as interpreter and translator. Um, I have a lot of hobbies, for example, dancing, sport, cooking, modeling, and um, I'm a very hardworking person and I have a lot of people which surround me, a lot of good people, and um, I, in my free time I like to read. And Yes, I'm very glad to be a part of Queen of Germany. Amazing. So that was already the warm-up round. 
So basically the self-introduction of our three candidates of group number three. And now let's move on to the round two of the super chat with Yasmin. So the Queen's camp has prepared one question for each of our candidates in this group. Anna, Ola and Tamara, you are given a maximum of three minutes to answer your questions. And this time it is your turn to begin, dear Tamara. So your question is, should English be a requirement in joining beauty contests? Why or why not? So I don't have to think a lot about this question. In my opinion, it has to be a concern in the beauty contests because English is the word language. It's not only you can express yourself better to others, it's only you can involve everybody. So if you just speak your national language, you are just in your like little in your country and you can speak to the other girls and to the other men and to everybody on the world. And if you speak English, a lot of more people can understand you above the world. And I think it has to do something with integration. And yeah, I think everybody should talk to everybody. And if you want to say something, you have to learn English and you have to speak English on the big, um, on the big stages. So everybody can hear you and everybody can listen to you and you have can better communications. And of course, you can do better relationships with all the girls, all the men, all the people out there whoever you are, you can do better relationships and talk better with them. That was really inspiring. So Ola, you are the second to answer a question in this round. And here is your TQC question. If there were no rules in your life for only one day and you could be outrageous, what would you do? So I think that um, the rules are very important in our lives because uh, without rules uh, the world would be in chaos. But um, if there were no rules, um, I think I would steal a lot of money and will give it to poor people. Um, because in my opinion there are a lot of people which don't, um, don't have um, help which will they are deserve and um, they have no opportunity even to study to go to school to the university and they don't have even enough to eat enough to drink and not enough um, um, water and of course i would help um, ukraine in this difficult situation and to people which don't have light don't have food clothes or water so I think I will do it this way. I see, like a little Robin Hood, for example. <laughs> I would do the same, actually. So, Anna, now it's your turn to showcase your mind and what's on your mind about a question. So here we have one. What is the lesson you have learned as a child and that still affects your life today? Uh, as a child, I often felt like I wasn't good enough. I have a twin sister, same age. She was often better in school or in sports. We were in the same grade. The, press, the pressure was just enormous. I was often expected to perform at the same level. When you get the feeling that you are not good enough as a child, you spend like your whole life trying to prove yourself wrong. Do not let the behavior of others destroy your inner peace. That's why it's important to understand that it's not about impressing anyone else or becoming someone in particular. Even winning a beauty contest doesn't make you a better person. Your career, your clothes, your performance, none of these define your worth. The most important relationship in your life is the relationship with yourself. Stand up for yourself. You don't have to do everything for everyone. Be the person you would like you would have looked up to as a child. When you make peace with yourself, you can look in the mirror and you just like what you see there. I think that's uh, important. I definitely agree to that. It also has um, affected me in some stages of my life as well. So I really liked your answer. 
So Anna, your response marks the end of our round two. And as expected, all of you have delivered convincing answers to our tough questions. Well done, ladies. So now let's enter the round three of the Super Chat with Yasmin. And the Queen's Camp has prepared a set of questions and each of you has to respond to each of these questions. And our group topic is equality. And speaking of equality, in this round, a different contestant has to answer as first one of the three topic questions. That means each of you, Anna, Ola, Tamara, you have to begin with a question at some point. So now let's get on to the first question. And Tamara, you are the first to answer question number one. And this is, should gender equality be a concern for men? So at first of all, I think this is a really good question. So thank you for asking it, um, because I think I have to make something clear. Um, gender equality has nothing to do with give women more rights or women have to get more rights. It's about equality. It's about women and men and every person on this planet have the same rights, the same social rights, everything. And for this, of course, it should be a thing for men um, because they want to have women um, at the same page as they are. It's not about stepping back or something like that. They can stay in the place where they are and women have to come to it because in our social, li um, social life, women are a little bit more behind men when it comes to equality. So women and men should be interested on the same page, should be a same same uh, interests in it and for this i think every man who has a daughter who has a sister who has a good female friend or something like that doesn't want somebody to treat them wrong and nobody cares about it so everybody has to be interested in it and it's about the equality and that is the point that is the twist plot and i think of course for men it's the same because Sometimes you think, oh, it's just about women, women getting, I want you to get more rights. But no, it's about men doesn't always have to be the strong man as everybody wants them. They can cry and it's okay. They can sometimes be a little bit weak and it's okay because we are all the same. We are all human beings and we all have to be on the same page for a respectful world and a loving world. I definitely agree with the sentence you said last. So let's get on to our next contestants. Ola, let me repeat question number one for you. Should gender equality be a concern for men? Yes, uh, so I think that um, gender equality is very important um, for men and women. And um, I think that men and women should have, um, must have equal rights and they must have um equal opportunities for education for private for um business part of life but i think that um men are uh, too often expecting expected to concentrate on the material needs uh, for their family so um they um shouldn't have uh, should, they don't have right um to take a part on caring or educating um, children, and I think it's false. So I strongly, strongly believe that gender equality is a concern to men because um, gender stereotypes also um, limits them. I see your point there. It was too hard uh, to answer. I can understand. It's also a really tough question. So. Don't worry, but we got your point, I believe. So, Anna, it's your time to voice out your opinion. Should gender equality be a concern for men? First of all, equality between a man and woman is in charge in the German basic law and is therefore always a topic for men and women. A lot has happened in recent years and a lot has been done for equal rights and against the existing disadvantages, especially within company structures. However, especially in many families, equality, partnership and 
above all fair position of men and women, uh, especially for women, and uh, this distribu distribu distribution uh, of work has not yet been achieved. The woman's responsibility for household and children and the man's for work um, and success still dominate here. The fact that women have other goals in life than raising children and running the household is often dismissed as new modern nonsense, especially here in the countryside. And also the increasingly introduced gender formulation, it's such a problem here in the countryside. In my opinion, this speaks against equal opportunities and social, uh, social justice in society. Uh, yeah, with the three phase mo model, Germany uh, has given women a great opportunity to return to work after giving birth. However, this uh, must also be brought more acceptance within the families. It is important also for men to deal with it. This is the only way to implement uh, the law of equality in Germany. Yeah. I strongly believe that your last sentences were actually a really good transition to our second question. So let's go to the second round of uh, basically, or the second question. So Ola, this time you begin. Our question number two is, have we achieved gender equality in Germany? Why or why not? So I think that there is still a lot to do to become um, gender equality in Germany, but um, women in Germany still spend a lot of time doing, um, caring and educating their children, um, doing domestic work, but uh, nevertheless, in my opinion, German um, is very gender equal, if I can um, say in this way. Um, and German is in top 10 countries for um, gender equality. And uh, there are much more uh, women in um, German Bundestag as earlier. And um, for the first time in the history of the Federal um, Republic, a woman, namely Annalena Baerbock, um, is the country's foreign uh, minister. So I think, yes, the answer is yes. I see. Yes, it's really it's a very tough question, I would say. So Anna, we can't wait to hear what you have to say. Our question number two is, again, have we achieved gender equality in Germany? Why or why not? I think I already did answer the question before. Partly yes and partly no. There are some parts where we achieved it and some like in the families where there is still a lot to do. That's one point I really agree to that we still have so much work in front of us regarding gender equality that we still have to keep fighting for as women for our rights. And also, yeah, we have a lot of challenges left still. So let's get on to the third question. Anna, you will open our last question for this round. And our question number three is, you could be the leader of Germany starting tomorrow. What would you do to promote or improve equality? So if I'm the leader of Germany tomorrow, I would do a lot of educational work in schools. Maybe it's just my perspective as a teacher, but if you bring um, the law of equal rights to the children, it will be in short later. We need to teach them young. That's right. So now Tamara, it's your turn. Let me read out question number three again. You could be the leader of Germany starting tomorrow. What would you do to promote or improve equality? So again, I have to agree with Anna. Um, I think it's an educational thing. And if we talk about gender equality, more children in, in a young age, mostly in the kindergarten, has to learn about it and they have to get to know each side. And I think it would be better if there would be a better communication in a young age between the feelings of the man's side and the women's side and teacher has to do more about it more like projects school things maybe just like a whole whole subject 
and of course i'm studying media i think on the media side we have to do a little bit more and not to fall into the cliches and to do a little bit more in germany because mostly it's from spain or america but not in germany that we have equality on television in tv shows on everything you see on the media but if we're talking about equality um, because the question was not just about gender equality if we talk about equality if i would be the leader i would do a thing like health insurance because um i think people who are richer have a better health insurance and i think that's not right everybody has to get the same medical um, treatments and that is something i would do if we're just talking about quality but if we're talking about gender equality, it's on the education and media side. Wow, that was a really good answer in my opinion. So thank you. <laughs> I will repeat the question for you. So you could be a leader of Germany starting tomorrow. Mm -hmm. What would you do to promote or improve equality? So I'm agree with uh, girls because it's very important to um, to teach people um, when they are uh, very young, um, children must understand what does um, equality, gender equality means. Um, and it must be, I think, um, uh, different workshops, different lessons, and it must be compulsory um, in the school and even at the university. And it's important to not only in education but it's important very um um it work in business and in different uh, spheres of life so yes i think it's more important to have in education and to tell and to show uh, people to show young people what does it mean and they they should understand that we are all equal. That is true. We are all equal. But sometimes the countries really do their own thing and um, let inequalities to happen. So that was actually a really nice view I got of you all because being a leader of Germany and having to change things is, uh, I believe, really hard. So. I was really inspired by your thoughts and opinions on this matter. And that already marks the end of our round three of the Super Chat with Yasmin. So before ending the Super Chat with Yasmin, I am giving you the opportunity to invite your friends, your family and supporters to watch our final show in Berlin on the 11th February 2023. And Tamara, you can begin so everybody thanks for watching and thanks for joining and now i'm really sure you don't want to miss the grand final on the 11th february 2023 in berlin so keep up and join us and watch it i hope you're there and of course i want to thank my family my friends for the all-time support so i'm sure you want to be a supporter too That was sweet and short. Ola, it's your turn. Thank you. So, my dear family, my dear friends and people uh, which I don't know, um, and I invite you to come and to support me on a show, on the final show, and I'm glad to see you. That was really good. So Anna, you have the floor now. So I'm just gonna make it short too. Thank you for everyone watching and for the great opportunity to be here. And thanks for my supportive family and my friends for also giving me advice and practice uh, with me. And also thank you for the best community in the world that always supports me and has my back. I hope you watch our finals in February 11th too. And that already concludes our group three of the Super Chat with Yasmin. Queens, let's all wave goodbye all together. So, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. bye.